Hey guys, Chrome Terrell here. Welcome to episode 16 of the Warframe boss fight series. And this one's going to be a little bit different. Uh, let's hop into it. All right, so for episodes, this episode, there are two different ways we can go, right? All right, so one is from Pluto, which is where we were at last time. We can go to either Sedna or Eris. I'm going to go to Eris because he is one of the most, well, one of the most difficult for me your toughest boss fight to do as a solo that's mutilus allied v right here to get to mutilus allied v you have to have mutilus allied v coordinates which you're going to get from uh invasions so this infested outbreak right here it says mutilus allied v coordinate that's what you get if you're able to do this invasion three times so like we would go to hades here and it would be bump off for aid three times and it would give us mutilus allied v coordinates so that's what you want to do then you want to come on over here once you get one of those to your foundry and then you're going to have to build the coordinate which means you need the nav coordinate you got from the invasion reward regular nav coordinates nanospores and ferrite so they take an hour to build so keep that in mind I'm also going to suggest for this particular because I did it other couple of ways I tried other ways and this hadn't worked to bring a specter okay you're gonna get specter blueprints whenever you're attacked by a syndicate provided you're a part of a syndicate whenever you get attacked by a syndicate that doesn't like you and you defeat all the attackers they'll drop a blueprint so whoever like the infested or whoever else all right so you'll get specter blueprints which you should then build for this particular meaning or you can do a public mission for this that's another good thing that doesn't involve you building a spectrum since i wanted to make sure to the utmost of my ability i was able to solo all this stuff specter seemed like the way to go but the only issue with that is they take eight hours to build so yeah then you want to go over here to your gear wheel wheel and make sure it's equipped some kind of specter here because you're gonna have mutilus allied v focus on that specter to try to mind control that specter which is what he does rather than you yourself because in a solo he can only target you which is kind of a pain in the rumpus and the previous unless I had messed it up a previous try with using Loki and Loki's decoy didn't work very well at all because it just passed right to right to the decoy then it went almost back on Alad nearly immediately Assassination so I'm going to use Nova lightly. Eliminating this target she's will have a four, she's, impact she's on enemy forces. I think she might be Search formed a couple times, Leave maybe. No survivors. Uh, she's done sick. up so that uh, has infiltrated his mind. she'll slow the enemy rather than speed him up, so she has to stop him. super big so positive power strength. Really strong for 75% speed reduction. And Lotus is talking about how Alan V is sick, how that collar makes him kind of messed up. Must I always show you the way? And forward. he wants to kind of spread the infestation so that everybody is, you know, like him. It's so much better Do you see this color? struggling this color and whatnot. Let you see like I see. Uh, it will let you want what I want. See how he's struggling and in pain. Tello, tello. Why must you always work against All right, progress? so here is Alan. Alright, so what we want to do, we want to go to our thing and immediately deploy the Spectre. You have one. Which he will then mind control. Whoop, I did that wrong. Messed up. Now he's slowed. If he mind controls him again. Okay, once the turn... Oop, messed it up. The Spectre's still here. Yeah, okay. So he's gonna worry him. And once he... Mind controls the Spectre... Oh, he's 
going to put it back on. Alright, so he's going to be paying attention to the Spectre, not me. That's what we're doing. And then he'll try to mind control the Spectre with his little collar thing. Once he does that... That's the problem with it, though. It'll just bounce. Nothing lasted longer than I did. almost gone. Of course, so is my Spectre. Oh, he's out. He's gurgled, he's out. Alright. So that's the way to do it with a Spectre. Which I would suggest if you want to do it solo. The only problem with that is you have to uh, wait 8 hours for the Spectre to get built. That's the only other issue with this. I should be using Wormhole, but to be honest, I'm a mediocre Nova player at this point. So. I'm just going to bullet jump to the exit like a schlub. And yeah, so after all that stuff, I'm gonna hop to the exit. And I'll be careful to keep running. We're technically in atmosphere right now. And that's why the shield is going down, so we're basically, to be frank, dying. So. And then we go over here, and that's it. So, we get the, the needless Hala V taken out. We get whoop, the system, the uh, parts for Mesa. So the Mesa system's chassis and her optics. You can buy her blueprint from the market, and when you're done crafting the other parts, you can get yourself Mesa. One of my favorite Warframes in the entire game, actually. Because she has a lot of firepower, and as long as she's not facing it in yellow fire, she can basically knock over anything in the game. Almost anything. So, Alright, so that's how you do it with a Spectre and Nova. Which is what was suggested. Uh, I was checking things out on the internet, and that's one of the things that are suggested to be doing that. So other than that, appreciate you guys hanging out. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content or if you're new around here. Keep on going with the gaming journey and your life journey too. We'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.